So this is my gym. It's uninspiring. It's boring. There's nowhere to put anything. Rink might say it looks like a dog's breakfast. I think it's gonna look like a dog's breakfast. I have been given a zero dollar budget because Rink is a frugal franny. How much time has it taken? Franny's on a runaway! I am the opposite of Rink. I am not a perfectionist. I'm just a get her done kind of girl. So I'm using leftover paint from the cabinets. I didn't even stir it. And I'm gonna use a stencil it, which I ordered on Etsy. They have some video tutorials on stencilit.co. And I have not watched the videos. Why am I sniffling so much? Because I have allergies. How long do you think this is gonna take you? <laughs> I, I am hoping that this takes me like an hour. Oh my God, here I go. I'm not taking it down, I'm just going around it. Well, I can see that the edges are bleeding and they're not gonna be exact. But I think it's because I'm moving the thing back, the stencil back and forth. And I mean, it's possible that the fact that you have one inch <laughs> tape holding it on. I don't know if the dabbing is the right technique. Do I move it while it's still wet? I should have practiced first. Well, it's crafty. Okay, so there's lots of bleeding anyways, so I'm gonna try the next one rolling. I think you're almost there, man. look great to be completely honest thank god it's in the basement we should call this YouTube channel let us screw it up so that you don't have to I mean it's not bad I don't I'm no, I don't hate it coming up on five hours I'm almost done so I got one square in the package. So I'm just finishing up this wall. Look at the great wall of Joey, you guys. I think it's cool. It's actually pretty neat. I mean, it looks like a dog's breakfast up close, but from back here, I, th I don't know, I like it. I think it's interesting. It's certainly more interesting than a, uh, just a blank wall. So for the floor here, guys, this is a really cool product here. What we're gonna put down, this is actually in a containment mat, like in your garage. If you're, uh, like in the winter time or whatever, when you park on this, I park my pickup truck on one of these. Um, as you know, we're not affiliated with anyone or sponsored, so this is not a shill, but I actually really like this product, so I want to tell you about it. It is uh, got a, a rubberized waterproof backing to it, and it's one piece that rolls out. Like, I park my pickup truck on one of these, the tires, it doesn't rip. It's, like, indestructible. Best of all is you can use a pressure washer to clean it off. So it has a rubberized mat. You can spill whatever you want on it and it won't leak through the bottom. So it's good for spills. I think this one is 20 feet long and eight foot wide. I got it on Amazon. It was like 200 bucks, maybe just a little over 200 bucks. So I don't know if that's expensive or not when it comes to like a gym floor. Of course, it doesn't have a ton of padding underneath it, but it's nice, it's a nice carpet. You can vacuum it, you can pressure wash it, you can hang it out to dry, 
roll it up quick. It's a great product. Again, that's from Armorall. So we're going to get this in place and then we'll get a couple other widgets going here and I think the uh, Joey gym renovation will be completed. Joey's gym open for business. My one hour project turned into probably six to seven hours. Um, the stencil it, I liked it for down here for like recreation. Basketballs are flying against the wall. It's just the basement. I would not put it in any main room in my house because globs of paint got outside of the stencil and it's just kind of like crafty. It's not for a main, main area in the house. So this is what the wall looked like before. Pegboard that my son grew out of, added a plant. Here's the piton. And just a couple mirrors from Ikea for my, in front of my yoga mats. And that's my style gym. Pretty proud of Joey for taking on this little DIY project. You know, I don't know if you guys are into this type of stuff with a little bit of like decorating in that to us. Just let us know in the comments. Otherwise, we'll keep it mostly to uh, kind of DIY construction stuff. I'm gonna do a video on the floor, concrete floor. It's kind of an expensive endeavor, but it's a really cool product. So that's coming up pretty soon. Make sure you guys subscribe. Let us know if you like this style of video and uh, we'll keep them coming. Hot and heavy and I might be in better shape by the end of this one. Peace.